Hello, my name is Blake, and I've tried to do this video three times today, so I hope you appreciate this. <laughs> this video is going to be 50 brands, uh, consumer electronics brands, and it's geared towards helping resellers figure out what's good to look up and what's not good to look up. A huge obstacle for so many people trying to do this to better their lives is the uncertainty and the anxiety that build up when you don't really know where you stand. So what I've done is uh, for you, for this video, and also for download at a very affordable price of $5 below, is go through 50 brands that I'm familiar with, consumer electronics brands, and figure out what the sell-through rate is. The STR. How have we done that? We've seen how many sold in the past 90 days and then divided that by the number of current active listing. This is a rough and easy way of understanding if an item, a brand, is likely to sell. In order to remove the noise, I've made sure that the only listings I'm looking at have brand attributes, so all that OEM crap out the door and are in used condition eBay is its own marketplace, so it's going to have variances that differ from Amazon, Facebook Marketplace, wherever. But for a lot of people, this should be enough to give you a heads up on some brands to keep an eye out for that you may have been passing up. We're going to break these brands into three sections. The bad ones, the okay ones, and the ultra premium, super duper ones that are selling more than 100% of the time. How is that possible? Again, because we're looking at the 90 day sales history and the current active listings. So the first part of this list is the stinkers, the ones I really want you to avoid. And that's, I'm kind of being funny because with some of the larger quantity listing brands, like, uh, let's see, I have it right here, Samsung, for example. Samsung has an STR of 0.2, but there are 100,000 active listings. So in that uh, massive sample, it's certainly possible that there's bad pricing, there's obsolete items, there's very poor listings. Uh, I wouldn't really worry about low CTR that much on a brand like Samsung. But as we get down lower and lower uh, and like see a CTR below 2.2, I'm just going to read them off right now. Here are brands with an STR below uh, 0.3 or at 0.3. Hitachi, LG, Mitsubishi, Dynex, Sharp, Samsung, Philips, Sanyo, Asus, Emerson, Luxman, Direct TV, Daewoo, and Toshiba. All of those brands have less than 0.3 STR. So everything that's listed over the next three months, they have a one in three chance of selling. And of course, that isn't exactly how it works. You can't take three VCRs and price them all at $10,000 and just expect one to sell because the numbers say so. Uh, but again, it does give you a good idea. And what I think is happening here, so with brands like uh, Hitachi, Mitsubishi, Sharp, those are just like lower end brands. Um, what really I found surprising in this lower end spectrum was LG. I thought LG was a good brand, but the used listing metrics, uh, there are currently almost 50,000 LG products listed in used condition. The STR is 0.16. So that means that 7,553 have sold. You can look at it two ways. On one side, that's kind of a lot to sell. So if you are trying to auction off stuff, LG's still fine. But there are still like 33,000, right? Is that how numbers work? 42,000 uh, active listings that stay active through the three month period that never sell. And is that because they are unwanted items? Is that because they are priced too high? You know, I'm gonna say it's probably a combination of both. I think that LG, in terms of retail price, is a more valuable brand, certainly above like Sharp or Mitsubishi. Uh, and I think that when people have those, they want to recoup as much money as possible off the initial purchase. If they're not resellers, if they're just like trying to clear house uh, and that 
tends to make the market change. Uh, should you be buying Hitachi, Mitsubishi, or even, you know, to an extent like Sanyo and Sharp products? Uh, that That's where we're getting a little bit trickier. I mean, if they're DVD VCR combos or if they're really, for whatever reason, uh, sought after individual products, then sure, why not? But if you just go to a garage sale and you don't have your cell phone out and you see 10 Sanyo VCRs, I probably would pass on them. Okay, let's do the 0.3 to 0.5 STR because these are more like typical brands you're gonna see, but still there's a lot of products within these brands that just simply don't sell uh, or are priced too high. And so at 0.3, we've got RCA, Memorex, Panasonic, AT&T, Iwa, it's A-I-W-A, GE, Funai, Samsung, Bogan, Fisher and Magnavox. That's 0.3 to 0.44. And again, everything here, you list a thousand items, you're probably gonna sell between a third and 40% uh, you know, over the next three months. Now, some of these brands like AT&T or GE, they have a lot of older, really obsolete stuff. So I think it's kind of uh, artificially lowering it, but by the same token, like no one's going after GE VCRs. I think uh, a third thing is happening too with brands like GE and uh, probably AT&T and RCA for sure, is that those are just typically lower priced items. Uh, you know, for AT&T, we've got, let's see, a little over five and a half thousand listings. For Toshiba, 20,000. For RCA, there's almost 25,000 active listings. And I think that a lot of those might be components for like uh, electrical engineering, but a lot of those are just older, uh, you know, generic products. Um, and they cost less when they were made back in 1990, and they cost less now. So when you're looking at these STR numbers, you have to take into account like maybe the reason it's selling more or not selling more is because of the price and not because of the demand of the product. Like I said earlier with some of these cheaper brands, uh, GE, RCA, Emerson, if you were just to type in VCR on eBay and search lowest price to highest price, in that lower quadrant, you're gonna see a lot more of those brands over brands like Panasonic, Philips, and Sony. Uh, and so that probably is why they have, in my opinion, uh, a higher STR than the quality and demand of the brand name would dictate. When we're talking about brands like Fisher, Fisher has a 0.43 STR. You probably have seen Fisher at a lot of your thrift stores. They are the big, heavy radio receivers. Fisher's like in cursive, kind of. They have some VCRs. I don't know the exact dates of the items that I've seen, but I'm guessing like 70s, early 80s, maybe late 80s. And the issue with these is they are, first of all, they're probably broken. I don't know how to fix a 1985 VCR. I have no clue. They have about 10 million moving parts. But secondly, they're very heavy. Uh, and so you might see, oh, this Fisher receiver sold for a hundred bucks, but it was with free shipping. Uh, and if you were to do that in Michigan and the buyers in Los Angeles, that's like a $75 charge potentially. So again, always make sure that when you're looking things up, you're taking into account the weight and potential shipping costs. A lot of sellers want to do free shipping on everything. I will do free shipping if I know what it's going to cost. You know, if it's like a 10 pound small box of items, pretty easy to, to guess what it'll cost, you know, 10, 15 bucks. If it's under a pound, extremely easy. If it's a random like 24 by 18 by six, like giant Fisher receiver that weighs 45 pounds, let's say that goes to rural Washington. Okay, that's gonna be like $115 UPS. And you know, whatever, maybe I'm a bit high on my estimate, but it's gonna be so expensive that you have to sell it for way, way, way more than the market price. And so that's why on any of these big, kind of like, not necessarily even slow moving, but just like big items, I'm always gonna be charging calculated shipping. And does that potentially remove buyers who only want free shipping? Yes, it does, but probably those are the buys that would end up costing me money. So I'm okay uh, missing out on them. Hey, I wanna say just quick, while you're watching the video, please give it a big thumbs up, subscribe, hit the bell icon for notifications if you haven't already, and leave a comment below with what brands 
you'd like to learn more about. I can do more in-depth stuff. I love researching this kind of stuff, eBay solds, Amazon sales rank stuff, and just getting a better idea of what products to look out for because that's half the battle. If you can walk into a thrift store, see five good things and not spend 45 minutes scanning duds, you're gonna have such a more profitable trip, you know, all things considered. You could get robbed, I guess, but assuming everything else goes good, knowing more things is better. I also want to bring up AT&T. So AT&T has uh, five and a half thousand active listings, just over 2,000 sold with a 0.37 CTR. Uh, I mean, STR. CTR is, a, is a, a click through rate. It's for like SEO stuff. So if I mess up and say it, just, you know, I mean STR. What that is, is that's mostly landline phones. And you're thinking landline phones, who is buying landline phones? And not a lot of people, that's why only, you know, a however many sold, what is it, 2,000 sold last month or over the past three months. But what you have to take into account is that as um, as these landline phones, production tapers off from AT&T, uh, as long as the demand tapers off at a lower rate than production, you're still gonna see potentially a rise or at least uh, a maintaining of the current prices. I also mentioned Samson. Samson isn't a big brand you're gonna see, but it is, whoops, you see that? It's the brand of my microphone uh, and my lav mic that is not working right now. Um, there's 54 actives and 22 solds over the past three months. I was kind of surprised. I like this microphone. The little other microphone I have, the wireless one, not a big fan of, uh, but it's more, mostly an online brand. I've bought both of my products I have from them off Amazon. So again, I'm not surprised. It's super, super low. Uh, but the STR is above brands like Panasonic and DirecTV and Daewoo. As we get closer to like 0.5 STR and above, we're going to see more home audio equipment brands like higher end home audio equipment. Uh, TEAC, T-E-A-C. I called it TEAC once in a video and I was rudely corrected. Uh, it stands for Tokyo Electric and Audio Company or something like that. Uh, they have an STR of 0.44. That was kind of surprising to me. Uh, Sherwood is right there too with uh, 0.47. I just sold a Sherwood remote for like 25 bucks. I've sold TIAC remotes. Uh, I've sold lots of, of these higher end brand remotes and they sell relatively quickly. Uh, but what I think is happening with like Sherwood and TIAC is that people who have them know they're more valuable brands. And so they price it higher and they just never sell it because they, they think in their mind they have this concept uh, nailed down that it's worth so much more than it is. Because when you see these things go on auction, they still get like large amounts of money, you know, a couple hundred bucks for a receiver. Uh, but still people have buy it nows of like $700 where the market price is closer to like probably 350 uh, and they just aren't willing to budge. So I think that in this case, like those, the sell-through rates, I'll just give you the numbers right here. So with, with TIAC, we had 4,156 actives and uh, 1,847 solds. And with Sherwood, we had 734 actives and 344 sold listings. So again, if you go through and check those out, they're definitely sought after brands, but I think the sellers don't really uh, understand what ways the market is going. We are now above 0.5 STR. This is actually 0.55. Uh, let's go to about uh, 0. 0.85, right? So these are things that you have more than a coins flip chance of selling in the next three months, all things equal. And obviously that's not how things sell, but I'm just saying in terms of comparing this to like a Daewoo VCR. Uh, a Quasar VCR, all things considered, will sell more often than a Daewoo VCR. Uh, next, we have Sony. Sony is a huge brand, obviously. They have almost 100,000 active listings, and the STR is 0.56, which is not great on paper, right? But you have to remember, there's like 17 or 18,000 of these being sold every month of this brand in used condition. Uh, and a lot of those that aren't selling are just like really bad pictures or they want way too much money or they're, uh, you know, mistitled in some way. I would say if I had to guess like the real STR, I bet it's closer to like 0.65 on those. That's just me guessing, but I've sold a lot of Sony stuff. And if you have the right price, 
they're going to sell very fast. After Sony, we hit this run of like high-end home audio brands. We have Niles at 0.57, STR, Pioneer at 0.67, uh, Denon at 0.72, Onkyo at 0.76, Kenwood at 0.78. And nestled in between those, there is Symphonic and uh, Motorola. Motorola was kind of notable. Uh, Motorola, it was a lot of like routers uh, and things of that nature. They don't really make like VCRs, but they do make uh, consumer electronics that I often see donated. So I wanted to include it in the list. And with an STR above 0.7, there's no reason not to at least look it up. And if the price is right, uh, make a buy. What I found most fascinating out of this, you know, sector of STR numbers was Symphonic. Symphonic to me seems like super low end brand, but there is this trend of Symphonic VCR TV combos, not DVD VCR combos, but a TV screen with a VCR tape player beneath it. And I'm sure you've seen these before, but the Symphonic ones, I don't know if they weigh less or if that's just like a, a commonly sold product they have. I don't know, but that really is what inflated this STR uh, because the STR was 0.58 which again, more than half sold in three months. Once we get up to a 0.8 STR, we only have 13 more brands to go. So these are probably like the top ones you should be taking notes on if you are taking notes. Uh, number 38 or 37 or my spreadsheet. Altec Lansing is a brand I want you to pay attention to. They mostly sell Bluetooth speakers. They have 914 active listings and 743 sold listings. That gives them an STR of 0.81, mostly uh, cheaper Bluetooth speakers. If they were to be priced higher, I don't think they would sell as much, but I'm seeing a lot of these sell in like the 19 to like $39 range. After Alltech Lansing, and I wanna specify there is Alltech and there's Alltech Lansing. I'm pretty sure Alltech Lansing is like in Michigan, like a half hour from here, uh, but Alltech, that's like an older brand and they're gonna have a lot more older things that aren't consumer electronics I don't know how those sell. I have I didn't look it up uh, But there is a difference sometimes it doesn't even say all tech Lansing on the label But check the back label with the model number and it'll, it's gonna say all tech Lansing at point eight two We have Technics, which is like a lot of audio equipment some turntables record players fun stuff like that then Harman Kardon at 0.85. I actually sold a Harman Kardon remote for $60 during this video as I was filming one of the previous iterations. Uh, again, I had it listed for maybe 10 days a week, if that. Oftentimes the Harman Kardon products weigh a lot, but that doesn't mean you can't do what I did and just sell a remote for 60 bucks, you know, and mail it first class mail and only pay like 350 in shipping. So after <laughs> after Technics, after Motorola, after Ankyo, after Sherwood, after Sony, after Toshiba, we have probably what I would say maybe the biggest surprise of all of this. And it's Garmin. Like the GPS company, Garmin. Garmin has a 0.87 STR. Almost every single Garmin GPS listed sells in three months. And that's probably because people don't expect them to be worth a lot. So they're not pricing them way high like they would TIAC or Sherwood, something like that. Uh, but also there must just be a consistent demand for these GPS products. I could do a deeper dive into this brand and I think I might because, I mean, honestly, 9,290 active listings and 8,000 36 sold listings used condition with you know that and it's not like docs because i said specifically brand garmin used condition so interesting nonetheless after garmin there's marantz i think everyone who has taken a bit of time to learn the higher end audio stuff knows about marantz there's currently 3879 active listings and over the past three months 3000 398 sold, uh, 0.88 STR, just barely better <laughs> than Garmin GPSs. That's pretty crazy that your likelihood of selling a Marantz receiver and a Garmin GPS, you know, on paper is very similar. Where I think most people would say that Marantz sells way more often 
and Garmin sells very infrequently. Tied with Marantz is Netgear. So this is kind of mis misleading. Um, Netgear, I thought it was mostly routers they made. They make Arlo products, which is like home security stuff. And the reason that Netgear has such a high STR is not because everyone's buying their routers, it's because everyone's buying their Arlo products. So if you see Arlo stuff, for sure buy it. Everything else Netgear, maybe, you know, pump the brakes and look it up. Okay, so now we are in the final lap. The winner's circle. Everything here has above a one STR. So everything here is essentially going to sell in three months or less. Now, if you price it way high, obviously not. If it's broken in two, it, you know, it's not going to sell. But if you're following market trends and pricing it correctly and not being an idiot, you're probably going to make some money on these. Number 43 is the brand Shure. S-H-U-R-E. It's high-end audio equipment. I should probably get a Shure wireless lav mic because mine broke. Uh, I see these at thrift store. I don't see them in poor areas. I see them in very wealthy areas. And my hunch is it's people who have a lot of disposable income. They want to have these secondary career midlife crises as like a folk singer or I'm going to do spoken word poetry or some nonsense. And they buy the top of the line stuff because they're convinced that'll make them sound good. And they go through it all and they record it all and they listen to it. And it's not good. And so they just donate it and go on their sailboat. I don't know. Sure, good brand, 1.22 STR. Now, next up, <laughs> what sells better than Shure microphones is TiVo products. Yeah, you heard me. TiVo. TiVo has a 1.43 STR, 1,202 listings, and 1,716 solds. Now, is this because people don't want to move on to the next generation of like TV on demand technology? Yeah, I would assume so, probably. But that doesn't really matter to us. What we care about is the demand, and TiVo products are in demand. 1.43 STR way better than sony twice as good as kenwood you know there's not much else to say about it if you see tivo stuff and it's priced cheap look it up after tivo i would say we have like the even though it isn't the highest str it's still above one so it's like the best the rock star of the group and that's bose b-o-s-e i've sold so many obsolete bose like 30 pin iPod decks and stuff like that for like 75 to 100 bucks. I assume it's because people are taking like the lightning port jacks and using them for their, you know, iPod 7s or whatever. But still, Bose stuff, man alive. If you can find Bose stuff for like under 20 bucks, under 30 bucks, I would say always look it up. And even if you're finding like, I, I sold two years ago or three years ago, I sold a, a four pack of like Bose mounting racks for like mounting a receiver on the side of your wall or on a shelf or something i sold them for 50 bucks a piece i had four of them these are just mounting racks you can get them for eight bucks at home depot and if you only take one thing away from this video that should be that bose is a very strong brand name bose anything sells it sells an almost prodigious amount uh, like i said 1.69 str for you know, 23 over almost 24,000 sold listings in the past 90 days. That's really, really good. Uh, that's the kind of stuff that, again, always should be igniting your reseller brain. After Bose, we have Logitech at 1.8. I think that's probably artificially inflated because of all the zooming people are doing with the webcams and the headsets and Logitech makes that kind of stuff. Maybe a year from now, we're going to see Logitech uh, a bit lower. But again, you know, as it stands now, April 14th, 2021, Logitech products still have a 1.8 STR. Down to the final four. These four quadrad of brands are all above two, a two STR, 2.11 STR Roku. Similar to TiVo, people just love their Roku stuff. Then we have 3.2 STR with Amazon. Not Amazon Basics, but Amazon, so like Echoes and Fire Sticks and whatever the heck else they make. 
those sell exceedingly well on eBay, which is kind of funny, right? You know, basically everything you sell, every fire stick that gets listed, every echo dot that gets listed, assuming it's like within $5 of like the mean price of average sales is going to sell in a month. That's really good. It's, you know, as easy money as it gets in the resale world. Uh, and like I said, there was over 6,400 units sold in the past 90 days. So if you have one, even a used one, sell it. The second to best brand, the penultimate brand is Oppo. It's a Chinese brand. Uh, the company who owns Oppo is like, I think called BBK and they own a bunch of other Chinese manufacturers. Uh, they're actually the second largest smartphone manufacturer behind Samsung. I didn't know that until today. I don't see a lot of Oppo products where I am in Michigan. They're mostly, in my experience, on the West Coast. Uh, I'm sure East Coast too, probably, but West Coast is a larger Asian population. And I think that they're probably just more comfortable with that stuff. They know what the brands are. Um, easier to import to Seattle than to Detroit as well so just a lot of uh, a lot of those factors it's also only got a 134 active listing count but out of those active listings over the past three months or you know give or take a few days 439 have sold absolutely insane str but the most insane str more so than oppo or amazon or roku or logitech is a brand that I don't think that you're gonna think of as being like a great resale brand. I didn't think of it as being great until I did this. And it's Sonos, S-O-N-O-S, -O -O -S. it's a palindrome. That has an STR of 4.39, almost four and a half. So for every Sonos soundbar that gets listed, four and a half sell. And okay, I'm being facetious, but you get what I'm saying, right? Like as long as these are, somewhat reasonably priced in used condition they're gonna move 1204 active listings and 5280 sold in the past 90 days logitech roku bose tivo amazon oppo garmin shore sanos shore is a, a bit of a stretch but all the all those brands those should be Remember those, right? Remember those because that's going to be your easy money as long as you can buy it for cheap. You know, everything else, like the middle tier ones, like Sony or Kenwood or Ankyo or Sherwood, uh, you know, Pioneer, Niles, Symphonic, TV, VCR combos. Uh, check the market, check the individual model number, and then stuff in the bottom end, like Hitachi, you probably should never buy any Hitachi products to to sell in used condition, unless you have a really good reason. You know, thanks for watching the video. I appreciate any comments you have. Please give it a big thumbs up. If you're new, subscribe to the channel and let me know which of these brands you found most interesting and would like to learn more about, because I'll do that.